Being an empath can be tough. It can be frustrating to be hypersensitive to everything. People can take advantage of you. People can drain your energy. You might find yourself giving all your time and your effort to help others without getting anything in return. You might be attracting narcissists or very self-centered people. These people gravitate towards us because we give them the attention. I got to a point where I was selfless, like completely. I had no personality, one that wasn't true to me. I didn't know what my energy was and what someone else's was. My personality was only based on what others wanted. I constantly ignored the internal messages that my heart and my gut were sending. Even though it might suck sometimes, it is a blessing to be empathic. Being able to pick up on other people around you is a great skill and you can use it to your advantage you're probably more aware than the average person. You can really help people if you use it. Being able to read people, to understand people, to understand different perspectives. I learned how to thrive as an empath and want to share some tips with you that will help you stop people pleasing, stop feeling drained, and start to find yourself. Usually as an empath, we can't tell the difference between how we feel and how other people feel because we are constantly absorbing all the energy around us. The lines between ourself and others become blurred. Is it your true energy or is it someone else's? It's almost like there's no separation between yourself and others. It's like this melting pot of energies going on inside of you. Until you become aware of this, you're going to just let anyone come in and compromise your internal realm. I started to notice I would come around certain people. They would be sad. They would be depressed. They would be anxious. And I would start to pick up these qualities within myself for no reason. I would just like randomly get sad or randomly start feeling anxious. Start observing how you feel around certain people, how you feel feel in different environments. When you are aware of what is happening, it becomes much easier to block it. I started being in control of my own frame. I would notice when I would enter someone else's frame and then pull myself back into mine. I would almost visualize like a glowing bubble surrounding me. And I would bring my attention back into that bubble when I would notice myself starting to absorb other people's energy. I would kind of imagine it protecting me from all the energies around me. Now being in my own frame, I was finally acting authentically. I found the separation. This is my energy and this is the other person's energy. I'm not absorbing it. Simply recognize when the absorbing is going on and find your frame. So we need to start getting some of that energy back and stop being drained. This starts with setting boundaries. Start being okay with saying N-O, no. I noticed that I'd be so quick to give up what I truly wanted just to please other people, just to keep the peace. I didn't want to upset anyone. Deep down at a subconscious level, I realized that I had a fear of being rejected if I showed my full self to the world. This could be from a wound, a trauma that we picked up as a child. We were scared to be abandoned and would mold ourselves to do what our parents wanted us to do. Start recognizing and becoming familiar with what you want. Become familiar with your internal guidance. It's always giving you answers. It's always guiding you on the right path. We're just so focused on the needs of others that we haven't even listened to our own. Let's say someone says, hey, let's go to dinner tonight, let's go out. You'll get a gut reaction that says, no, nah, I should spend some time to myself, I should stay and get things done, I'm tired, I don't really feel like it. But then part of you doesn't want to upset the other person. What if they never ask me to do anything again? What if they think I'm rude? It turns out, believe it or not, when you are honest with someone, they'll end up respecting you even more. And they might be mad for a second. They might. But in the end, they'll respect you for putting up those boundaries. 
and you don't have to over explain your decision to others. I used to do this. I needed to have a great reason why I couldn't show up to something. All you need is a simple no. That's it. Stay firm in what you truly want. You don't need to explain yourself to anyone. You start to gain a whole lot of that energy back that you were just really giving away when you become comfortable with saying no. I know you want to help everyone. You want to be there for everyone. You hate people struggling and feeling sad. But you need to fill your own cup first and then use the overflow from that cup to help others. I am able to serve other people best when I take care of me first. And also, sometimes you need to let other people figure out their own problems. They can't always depend on you. And they won't learn the lessons that they need to learn if you are constantly being a crutch for them. It's time to stop people pleasing, letting other people drain your precious energy, and it's time to start stepping into your true power as an empath. Don't forget to give the video a like, comment with any feedback, and subscribe to support the channel. Peace.